when someone has rejection from their mother and father or their family, they, when they get out in the world, they search. They search for someone to fill that void. I know this for experience because, because I've had kids come to me and latch hold of me like I'm their mother or like I'm their father because they can talk to me and I'm gay and they're gay and that, that's where a lot of that baldness in the, in the mother business comes in because they're real parents and give them such a hard way to go. They look up to me to fill that void. Shay comes from reading. Reading came first. Reading is the real art form of insults. Touch this skin, darling. Touch this skin, honey. Touch all of this skin, okay? You just can't take it. You're just an overgrown orangutan. You get in a smart crack and everyone laughs and kikis because you found a flaw and exaggerated it, then you've got a good read going. I don't tell you you're ugly, but I don't have to tell you because you know you're ugly. And that's shade. If you're married, a woman in a suburb, a regular woman, is married to her husband, and she wants him to buy her a washer and dryer set. In order for him to buy that, I'm sure she'd have to go to bed with him anyway to give him what he wants for her to get what she wants. So, in the long run, it all ends up the same way. And for those children that can't take the fact that I still look youthful, ha, suffer. No bags, no lines. Lovely. And I'm as free as the wind that's blowing out on this beach. <laughs> Except that voice is still there. Oh, <laughs> as free as this beat. I am what I am. I am my own special creation. O B U L E N C E. Opulent. <laughs> you own. don't go out of their way because they are women. I went out my way because I was in and I felt that I wanted to be the best I can be. You know what I mean. You know what Paris meant. Exactly. Butch Queen. Butch Queen. Butch Queen. Butch Queen. I'm not looking for anything. I think all men are dogs. I honestly do. You know, every man starts barking sooner or later. I always had hopes of being a big star. And then I look, as you get older, you, you aim a little lower. And I, you say, well, yeah, you still might make an impression. Everybody wants to leave something behind them, some impression, some mark up on the world. And then you think you left a mark on the world if you just get through it. And a few people remember your name. Then you left them on. You don't have to bend the whole world. I think it's better to just enjoy it. Pay your dues. And enjoy it. If you shoot an arrow and it goes real high, hooray for you. <laughs>